to the Riverside Cemetery Boutique. First, I want to start off. This is not directed towards children or for children content. So, welcome to Melanie Riverside Cemetery Boutique. This is a mysterious video. I want to tell you my journey of the cemetery. So let's get started. Alright, I started with Ancestry in 2015. I built my tree. Then about, we'll jump ahead to 2017 when I did the tree I found that I had ancestry in the Riverside Cemetery I never knew that when I was growing up and I walked past the cemetery so many times and didn't realize how bad it looked and how much care and love it needed until the day I found out that I had great-grandparents in the cemetery and the journey is that April changed my life. I went looking for my great-grandparents. Soon as I walked in there it felt peaceful. Me and my boyfriend it felt peaceful so we started looking for my great-grandparents. At this time I only knew I had three of them. So we found William and Emma, William Casey and Emma Gilbert Casey. The next one we found, we walked straight past my other grandparents, we didn't realize it. And Isaac Lacone was the one we found and we stopped looking for the day and we're gonna go back another day to look. As I was standing at the foot of Isaac Lacone's headstone, my fourth great grandfather, I talked to him, then I looked around the cemetery, pondering like this, and seeing all this overgrown yucca plants, weeds, and like trees it was not taken care of it wasn't being maintained at all so I made a promise to Isaac and to everybody in the cemetery the loved ones that had loved ones in there that I would be back to clean the cemetery and I did and with my boyfriend I said, I promise you, Isaac, I'll be back, and to all of them, to be back here to clean with help or no help. So this is where my journey began. I talked it over with William. We walked all the way home from the cemetery with the discussion, and he said, are you sure? I said, yes. Some people said I was just wasting my time, and it's they're going to look like that. But I walked a walk and talked a walk. Now, as I was going on this journey, I asked my pastor, Glenn at the time, if he could help me talk to the mayor if I could get permission to clean the cemetery. And he was he was a quite busy pastor, busy man, so I was kind of grateful that I got the courage to go up to the township to talk to them to get permission and it felt great. So about a couple of days later they gave me a call and they gave me permission that I can take care of the cemetery and I was so happy. I made a group page for the cemetery and had people join and make awareness for the community of what I was doing. As I was going on this path, I made the first 
cleanup in May. There is only three of us, me, my dad, and William. Now I got to spend some time with my dad and talk to him about the family history and the cemetery as we we're going along. And that was awesome. Then the next cleanup we had, we had some more volunteers. Another volunteer showed up. I think the third one we did, more volunteers clean up. I did not do the parade that year of 2017. No, 2016. So we had the cemetery clean, and the first cleanup. My dad went to go talk to a friend across the street, so we went to go look for the other great-grandparents, and we walked directly by them, William, Mayer, and Rosalina. I just don't know her maiden name. So we walked by them, we found them, so we found all three sets of grandparents in there. By the fourth time of the cleanup came around, my dad asked, do you know if there's any more grandparents we have in here? I said, I'm not sure. I will look on my ancestry into the tree. And yes, there is. His name is Gatto. I don't know how to say it. He's from Germany. Schaefer. And I think it is Christina. I don't know her how to pronounce her maiden name. And Schaefer. So, along the way with the cleanups and all of that, and I post the pictures on the group page, I post the picture on this other page that involves the town, and people were thanking me, they said it looked beautiful, it looks great, you guys are doing a great job, we love it, you should get an award for it. I told them personally, I do not want wars, that's not what I was looking for, intending to want. And I wasn't looking for the attention or praises, I just wanted to take care of the cemetery. I don't see it as volunteer work. I see it as a caretaker. So, it's been amazing journey and experience that I got to experience with taking care of the cemetery. It has made me more open to people. I appreciate the awards and the donations that people given me along the way. Like they donated flowers because I wanted to put flowers out on the graves for Christmas and this will be the third year of putting flowers out on Christmas so I'm gonna create an event page and hopefully I can get every headstone in there there's over 637 I want to say headstones in the cemetery and along the way I got to my goals were was to see if I could find any of family members that had loved ones in there I have and that was pretty awesome and sweet and just hearing the stories and them appreciating what I do that's what matters to me the most and making it look more presentable because I wouldn't want anybody to go in there that had family and see headstones cover in yucca plants and it, I just found it disrespectful into the cemetery. There are a lot of abandoned cemeteries, not just in my town. They're all over the place and we cannot let them be forgotten. So please take the time out in your local towns and see if you can take care of cemetery. Even if you don't have loved ones in there, just remember if that if your family was in there you would want it to look lovely and nice and presentable so it has changed my life people recognize me from the cemetery and 
the helpers, they thank my helpers as well, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart with the hard work for the last three years and April 20th, or not April 20th, in April 2020, I am going to talk more about the journey for the four years of taking care of the cemetery and getting more in depth, but the videos will be at the cemetery and in a smaller portion videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I don't see it as volunteer work, I just see it as a caretaker and I never thought I'd be taking care of a cemetery. I'll get more into that, what my goals were in my life and I'll go in depth with some of the goals that I had and the dreams that I had but I never thought a cemetery would have been one of them and it's been a blessing a miracle and it made me more open and stronger and make me appreciate life more and doing things more knowing that there's something that I can care about and put my effort and energy into something and I also want to thank the Riverside Township for mowing it. They did a lovely job. And I want to say to them personally, I am, half the time, I am sorry if I do go off on you guys and I sound a little harsh. That's because I have high standards for the cemetery as well. Because I have my loved ones and there's other people's loved ones in there. And I just enjoy it. It just, like, I have to find a way to explain it and express it the way that I want to. So hopefully when I go to the cemetery, maybe I can express it more what it feels like when I'm walking around. So give me time to do that video. And just remember, I'm not doing the cemetery as volunteer work. I'm not doing the cemetery as getting praises. I'm doing it because I have loved ones and there's other people that have loved ones in there. And it's called respect the people and our ancestry that are in a cemetery or anybody cemetery ancestry or any cemetery that has veterans in there loved ones in there you won't want that for your ancestor or anybody's loved ones it's just heartbroken to see rundown cemetery abandoned cemetery but you can always bring them back to life and restore them don't let them go don't let them be forgotten they're precious to us and to our ancestry and to our family that put money into the cemetery. And it's hard and it's sad and heartbroken. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Thank you for listening and you guys are welcome to my channel. And this is not directed to kids, so... If you want to, feel free to subscribe to my butt, my button. Don't worry, what you see is what you get. That's how I am. I say goofy things at random things at the random time. So hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for all notification. And this is a new spot that I am in a different room. So I'm trying to see where I want to do my videos so wish me luck so i will go into more details on what this video to be long so thank you for listening and i will see you guys all later thank you for watching and welcome to melanie riverside cemetery of booties and yes you notice that i have changed my channel and i hope you guys like the new changes.
just let me know. And if you like the new name change. And I appreciate the days I get to visit the cemetery, take care of it, and put flowers out. And that's more than I can express. I can get more into it. It'll be a longer video. Alright. Thank you guys. See you guys all later in the future. And wish me luck on this new journey of the new YouTube changes that I made to my YouTube and improve it. So, I will see you guys all in the future. Remember, I'm still the same. I'm like this off camera and on camera. So, yeah. Alright. See y'all in the future. Bye for now.